Hello G Trotters, welcome back to Globe Trotters Travel. Today, we're counting down the top 10 must-visit spots in California's gem, the city where dreams come true, San Francisco. This city's charm is as eclectic as its culture, starting from the iconic Golden Gate Bridge to the Alcatraz Island, then moving to the bustling Fisherman's Wharf, followed by the windy Lombard, the bustling Union Square, the vibrant streets of Chinatown, the pastel-hued painted ladies, the grandeur of the Palace of Fine of Fine Arts, the famous cable cars, and ending at the scenic Golden Gate Park. San Francisco perfectly blends beauty and history, creating charm. So are you excited to embark on this journey with us? Ready to explore the city by the bay? First, let's take a look at the Golden State. Here is a swift glance at what California has to offer. This land of contrasts and diversity stands as a testament to the American dream, a melting pot of rich cultures. From the sun-basked beaches in the south to the towering redwoods in the north, California portrays a vivid picture of nature and progress existing in perfect harmony. Here, innovation thrives, as it houses Silicon Valley, the cradle of the global tech revolution. Yet, the state also reverberates with the echoes of the historic gold rush, speaking volumes of its rich past. It's a haven for dreamers, artists, and entrepreneurs. The food scene, influenced by a vast array of cultures, mirrors the diversity of its inhabitants. And of course, there's the wine, globally acclaimed and savored by connoisseurs across the world. California is more than a state. It encapsulates a unique experience, a distinctive lifestyle. Now let's take a look at one of its most cherished cities, San Francisco. Starting off our countdown at number 10, we have the iconic Golden Gate Bridge. This magnificent feat of engineering isn't just a means of transport, it's a symbol of San Francisco's vibrant culture and history. Since its completion in the mid-20th century, the Golden Gate Bridge has served as an essential artery for the city. Its striking orange hue, spanning the mouth of the bay, has become its signature feature. It's a sight to behold, with thousands of tourists and locals crossing this landmark daily, yet it never loses its grandeur and beauty. The bridge isn't merely a roadway, it's a testament to human resilience and a monument that greets every visitor with an unforgettable experience. A visit to San Francisco would be incomplete without a stop at the Golden Gate Bridge. Next up, at number 9, it's Alcatraz Island. Drenched in rich history and a unique haunting allure, Alcatraz Island stands as formidable as the robust structure it's recognized for. This infamous island, also referred to as The Rock, situated in the heart of San Francisco Bay, was formerly the home of some of the 20th century's most formidable lawbreakers. From 1934 to 1963, it functioned as a federal prison to contain the criminals deemed too dangerous for the mainland. Its intrigue continues to captivate millions to this day. However, its legacy extends beyond its prison era. Alcatraz also served as a military fortification, military prison, and ultimately, a federal penitentiary. The island played crucial roles in the city's military strategies, long before it was identified as a maximum security prison. Today, Alcatraz Island is a must-visit destination, attracting tourists worldwide who are eager to explore its austere cells, navigate its menacing passageways, or simply appreciate its haunting charm. Alcatraz Island is an absolute for history enthusiasts or those seeking adventure. Coming in at number 8, we have the lively Fisherman's Wharf. This bustling location is more than a mere waterfront, it's an explosion of sensory experiences. The panorama is packed with numerous attractions, the aroma of fresh seafood fills the air, and the powerful roars of sea lions reverberate around. This is more than a visit, a dip into a world of sensory delight. From the rhythm of moored boats to the historic charm of the nearby Girardelli Square, there's a treat awaiting everyone. Don't miss the chance to dive into a world of gastronomical diversity. Fisherman's Wharf is also a food lover's paradise. Treat yourself to, to the legendary clam chowder served in a sourdough bread bowl, or resist if you can the lure of the fresh off the boat Dungeness crab. As descends, the wharf is transformed. The lights from street lamps and restaurants create a mesmerizing ambiance. At number 7, we navigate the twists and turns of Lombard Street. This famous street isn't just known for its quirky roadside spectacle, it's a meaningful landmark, loaded with an interesting Lombard Street showcases San Francisco's distinct architectural style and innovative urban planning. The winding path offers an engaging test for one's navigation abilities, often requiring some practice. But it's not all about the twists. The street is extravagantly adorned with vibrant flowers, 
and overlooked by of colorful Victorian mansions, making it visually pleasing as well as significant for its extraordinary design. This street stands to the city's inventive spirit, and no trip to San Francisco is considered complete without a drive or an enchanting walk along this iconic route. Whether you're an architecture enthusiast, a floral lover, or just someone seeking a bit of adventure, you'll find it all on Lombard Street. Lombard Street, a captivating and appealing San Francisco landmark. Number 6 brings us to the bustling Union Square. A humming hub of vitality in the heart of San Francisco Union Square is a vibrant blend of commerce, culture, and urban chic. Envision a location where the city's flair for shopping, gastronomy, and fine art converge into a dazzling display of sensory pleasures. Picture luxury boutiques peacefully coexisting with eccentric independent stores, with a range of eateries offering everything from high-end gourmet meals to local street food. Yet Union Square is more than a culinary and retail paradise. It serves as a comprehensive retail journey. Furthermore, Union Square isn't about business. It's also a vibrant hub for San Francisco's art scene, displaying everything from mesmerizing street performances to distinctive art exhibits. It's a canvas lavishly decorated with the city's artistic spirit. So if you're a shopping enthusiast, a food lover, an art fan, or a combination of all three, Union Square has something for you. At number five, we step into the colorful streets of Chinatown, a unique corner of San Francisco. This distinguished district is among the oldest and largest Chinatowns in North America and stands as a shining testament to San Francisco's rich Chinese heritage. As you traverse its vibrant lanes, you find yourself virtually transported to another continent, awed by the brilliantly decorated dragon murals that adorn the area. Chinatown is a living testament to history, echoing with the narratives of immigrants who've called this place their home. A paradise for food enthusiasts, the district thrives with traditional bakeries serving mouth-watering dim sum. And numerous restaurants, the aroma of roasted duck constantly teases your senses. However, the exploration doesn't just stop at food. This enthralling neighborhood also features a variety of intriguing stores selling everything from Chinese medicinal herbs to beautifully crafted lanterns. More than a food and shopping paradise, Chinatown is a cultural hub hosting numerous temples, museums, and parks that mirror the lifestyle and traditions of its inhabitants. Truly, it's a vibrant slice of Asia nestled in the heart of San Francisco. Number four takes us to the picturesque Painted Ladies. These visually striking Victorian houses adorned in a variety of unique colors have become a symbolic representation of San Francisco. Their roots stretch back to the mid-20th century, an era when architectural wonders were reshaping urban landscapes. Every element of the ladies is a marvel of architectural design, demonstrating complex details and exceptional scale, mirroring the inventive time. The painted ladies are more than just imposing edifices, they're a tribute to human creativity. The hurdles encountered during their restoration, they remain as a testament to San Francisco's unyielding spirit. Currently, persist in captivating both tourists and residents with their ageless allure and sophistication. Whether you're a devotee of architecture or simply a fan of iconic landmarks, the Painted Ladies are destined to spark wonder. The Painted Ladies, a flawless symbol of San Francisco. At number 3, we have the majestic Palace of Fine Arts. This enduring monument stands as an emblem of San Francisco's rich past and cultural heritage. Established in 1910, the Palace of Fine Arts has stood the test of time, its unchanging charm intact. Its striking design, featuring domed structures and classical colonnades, is a sight to behold. The brainchild of Bernard Maybeck, it was a part of the Panama Pacific Exposition, a harmonious blend of Californian aesthetics and European architectural genius. But it goes beyond just architecture. The Palace of Fine Arts doubles as a cultural landmark, home to countless art exhibitions, weddings, and events. It stands as proof of the city's dedication to preserving its heritage while pushing for innovation. Whether a peaceful walk through its beautifully landscaped park, a deep dive into history, or to see the city from a different angle, the Palace of Fine Arts provides a unique experience. The Palace of Arts, a crossroads of tradition and innovation. Number two brings us to the iconic San Francisco cable cars. This remarkable system has been traversing through the city since the early 20th century. In those days, the cable cars served as a significant emblem of the city's mechanical evolution and urban growth. As the years passed, the cable cars became more than just a transportation method. They evolved of the city's pioneering spirit and resilience. 
The thrilling steep rides, complex track layouts, and the sweeping city views from the cars all create a distinctly San Francisco experience. Even in the aftermath of the devastating earthquake of 1906, the cable cars revived to serve as a physical connection to the city's dynamic history. Today, they are one of the most celebrated and historic landmarks in the United States. And finally, at number one, we have the sprawling oasis that is Golden Gate Park. This immense and mesmerizing sanctuary spans over a thousand acres, dwarfing the size of New York Central Park. It stands as a testament to the city that founded it back in the 1870s. This verdant haven boasts beautiful gardens, sports fields, and even a pair of Dutch windmills. A must-visit is the Japanese Tea Garden, the oldest public Japanese garden in the U.S., with its serene Zen garden and historical artifacts. But Golden Gate Park is more than just a park. It's the city's recreational heartbeat, a hub for relaxation and exploration. From the de Young Museum, displaying American art from the 17th to the 21st centuries, to the California Academy of Sciences, an extraordinary fusion of an aquarium, planetarium, and a natural history museum, Golden Gate Park offers something for everyone. What makes Golden Gate Park claim our spot? It encapsulates the spirit and energy of San Francisco, its respect for culture and community. From the Conservatory of Flowers to the Buffalo Paddock, every nook and cranny of Golden Gate Park tells a story of the city's past and present and its unwavering dedication to conservation and innovation. So there you have it, our number one must-visit attraction in San Francisco, Golden Gate Park, a tribute to the city's charm. This concludes our exploration of San Francisco's top 10 spots. We've marveled at the majesty of the Golden Gate Bridge, stepped back in time at the historic Alcatraz Island, weaved through the animated streets of Chinatown, and ascended the signature Lombard Street. Each spot enhances the mosaic of this vibrant city. So whenever you're in town, don't miss out on these must-sees. If you've enjoyed this journey, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to Globetrotters Travel, and share this video with your fellow explorers. Thanks for being a part of our journey, G-Trotters. Until the next adventure, farewell.